Welcome to your Ethereum news briefing by ethdaily.io. Here's your latest for June 12, 2023. Polygon announces Polygon 2.0, Lido Finance opens applications for node operator onboardings, Tess in production releases a mainnet version of OP Aragon, and Sound.xyz goes live on Optimism. All this and more from ETH Daily starts right now. Polygon announced Polygon 2.0, the next iteration of the protocol featuring a network of ZK-powered Layer 2 chains unified through a new cross-chain coordination protocol. Polygon 2.0 will consist of a series of upgrades to protocol architecture, tokenomics, and governance. Polygon describes the next phase of the protocol as a value layer. The upgrade aims to provide scalable transaction throughput without sacrificing security, deep liquidity, and capital efficiency. Polygon will release a series of posts over the coming weeks to showcase a roadmap and upgrade details. Polygon will also address the future of its proof-of-stake chain and the utility of its mass token. Lido Finance announced its fifth node operator onboarding round, allowing node operators to apply for a chance to join Lido's Ethereum node set. The onboarding round will be performed in a two-part series. Node operators who applied in previous rounds and received a high score can reapply through June 26 for an expedited evaluation. First-time applicants can apply through June 13th. Node operators that are not accepted in the first stage will be evaluated during the second stage later this summer. Lido currently holds a set of 29 node operators and is looking to expand to more client and geographically diverse node operators. Applications will be reviewed by the Lido Node Operator Sub-Governance Group and will be sent to the Lido DAO for approval. Yield protocol Pendle Finance reached $100 million in total value locked. The protocol's TVL has grown nearly fourfold over the last three months. Pendle Finance splits assets into principal and yield tokens. Users can purchase principal tokens at a discount to be redeemed on a maturity date. Users can also deposit liquidity to obtain yield tokens and leverage their position. Test in Production, an independent group of contributors to the Optimism Collective, released a main version of OP Aragon. Optimism node operators can now use OP Aragon as their execution client. The release includes a mainnet RPC endpoint by Test and Production, an explorer via Otterscan, and a forked OP Aragon library and interface. The release comes as OP mainnet upgraded to Bedrock, which introduced multi-client support. Support for multiple clients enables client diversity and makes the OP stack more resilient against client bugs. OP Aragon is a fork of the Layer 1 Aragon execution client. A16Z Crypto is also working to bring its OP Maggie consensus clients to mainnet. And lastly, music NFT platform Sound.xyz is now live on Optimism, providing users with access to lower transaction fees for uploading audio and collecting NFTs. Minting an NFT on Optimism costs roughly 10 cents in transaction fees compared to nearly $7 on Ethereum mainnet. Over 128,000 NFTs have been minted on Sound.xyz, generating close to $4.8 million in primary sales volume for artists. This has been a roundup of today's top news stories from ETH Daily. You can support this podcast by subscribing and following us on Twitter at ETH Daily. Also subscribe to our newsletter at ethdaily.io. Thanks for listening. We'll see you tomorrow.